Good afternoon, everyone. This is YC. Welcome back to YC Cooks and Bakes. Today, I'm going to be making some, I call them applesauce crazy muffins, but I promised some people that after I made the oatmeal muffins, I would show you a recipe of applesauce muffins. So here we go. We're going to start off with a glass bowl, so I'm going to bring you forward. Okay, and don't forget to spray your muffin tin, uh, at least a dozen little muffin cups. And we're going to start off with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And we're going to put in one third cup of granulated sugar. And then I have a little plate here. And I don't know if you can, I think you can see the spices on this. I'll lower it so you can see them. We have one teaspoon of cinnamon. We have half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. That's nutmeg, I'm sorry. And this is a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. And I will pour that in at this time. And don't worry, it'll all be in the description for you. You do not have to memorize any of that. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and stir these dry ingredients around. And people say, well, why do you call this crazy muffins? I call it that because there's no egg, there's no milk. And part of that is because we have one and a quarter cups of beautiful applesauce. And this is unsweetened, which is fine because we already have a third cup of sugar in the recipe and apples are kind of sweet anyway. Okay, and then we have one third cup of oil. And you can use, you know, vegetable or canola, whatever you have on hand. And that, is it. We just stir this up and you can use that that little cup or whatever you have there. I'll probably end up using this one and filling our little uh, muffin tin and then um, I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we are going to bake these for 25 minutes and um, I think the spray I used on my pan uh, was canola spray, but whatever kind of spray you have that you use for baking. And um, extra ingredients that you can put in here, if you wanted to, you could put extra vanilla if you like a, a really big on vanilla. Raisins and nuts you can put if you want. Um, right now I like to try to keep things as cheap as I can um, because I'll also be... Um, you know, making stuff for our supper today. Like my son, he went out and got the ingredients for me to make a uh, banana pudding. And so I am going to be doing that. I have been busy, busy, busy. I was hoping to get to this before now, but I have been sewing bathroom curtains and I'm trying to make a baby quilt. And for my, my son, uh, my middle son has a friend and, and his lady are having a baby uh, up in North Carolina. Oh my gosh, you know what I saw today? That Tuesday, it's going up to 102 here on Tuesday. It's like, what? It's going to be hot. So this is what it's like after you get done mixing it. Now I want to point out, make sure you use baking soda in this particular recipe, not baking powder. I just wanted to point that out. And I will go ahead and start filling these little cups. Okay, I have them all filled up now. And I'm going to put this in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, everyone, the muffins are ready. I'll show you what they look like. If I can do it without burning myself, I forgot to grab the other pot holder. See? 
it looked real nice and I'll take one out and put it on a plate for you Ooh, that's hot and that's what it looks like applesauce muffins I hope you give this recipe a try and I hope everybody has a great weekend bye bye